Where did Drax escape to? What kind of meat comes from these giant carrots? And excuse me, is Chapa secretly royalty? You put that back. Welcome to an extra strange episode of Swellview Mysteries. The world of Swellview has turned upside down since the dawn of the Danger Force. But Drex Stinklebaum... Remember me? Your name is Drex Stinklebaum? It's Stinklebaum! As I was saying, Drex Stinklebaum is still haunted by ghosts of the past. Toodaloo, buckaroos! Nope. No, not that ghost. That's right, we're talking about Henry Hart. I can give you revenge on Henry Hart. How could Drex say no to such an evil idea? After all, Drex's ultimate evil scheme was foiled by Captain Man and Kid Danger on the top of that blimp. Stay down! When all was said and done, Drex must have been captured and locked up in the man nest. That's me. There, we bet he had nothing to do but wait, thinking about that blimp fiasco and eating donuts with Chest Monster? Do you have any more donuts? None that I haven't licked. Chest Monster? Okay, that'll be a topic for our next episode. Now, where were we? Revenge. That's right. Rick released Drex. They fought Henry, Captain Man, and the Danger Force. Then Drex was thrown into Captain Man and off the side of Nakatomi Tower. Oh, come on! But here's the troubling part. Two indestructible men went down, and only one came back. What, I miss it? Was Captain Man so fight-hungry that he forgot about Drax? So, when do we go find Drax? Can we have one day off? No one days off. off. That's my girl. Well, actually, we have a theory about this. We all know how Captain Man is obsessed with Henry. Come get Baba Bird! No, 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 And have you noticed how Henry has some trouble picking up the phone when Ray calls? <laughs> We don't need to call Henry. He's still not picking up your calls. Shut up, Drex, we talk all the time. But Henry always comes running when there's danger afoot? Yeah, we, gotta, we gotta go chase Jeff. No, man, no, 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 hey, let's get back to the mansion. Well, almost always. Hear us out. What if Ray actually allowed Drex to escape because he knew it would someday bring back together Captain Man and Kid Danger? What? Thought you were going back to dystopia. Eventually. But I don't like the idea of Drex being out there. The world's the worst place with him in it. In fact, we already saw Ray offer to help Henry hunt down Drex. You want some help? Nah, I got this. What would have happened if Henry said yes? Would Ray Manchester leave Swellview? Would Captain Man abandon the Danger Force? And where even is Drex? Sounds like he's someone else's problem. Yeah, mine. The supervillain could be waiting for Henry to come after him. And if that's the case, then we think we know where Drex is hiding. Remember when they were figuring out where to hide Monsty? Of what we have Miles teleport Monsty out to Cape Town. Oh, yeah, 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 where all the cavemen moved when Drex brought him back from the past. What if Drex is in Cave Town? These cavemen are his only allies after Rick Twitler, and we know what happened to him. This is probably gonna hurt. Two on six didn't work for Rick Twitler and Drex, but how about Drex and a team of cavemen? Henry Hart's getting a visit from my best cavemen. Okay, a team of cavemen didn't work the first time either. So how about a whole village of cave people? What if the cavemen reproduced and quadrupled in numbers? And maybe that's where Cave Kid came from. Where's the little animal? Yeah, she's right there, smashing some science stuff there. I was just holding for a friend. Of course, that's all just speculation. Who knows what's in store for Henry Hart and Drex Stinklebaum? It's Stinklebaum! <laughs> well, that's not much better. There are more mysteries to explore, like what's with these giant carrots? Okay, what's going on here? People seem to know so much about them. Every 17 years, giant carrots grow in Swellview. Yeah, and if you roast them for three days over hot coals... They turn into they... meat. <laughs> what? Yet nobody can tell us what kind of meat you get from them. What kind of meat? What kind of meat? Okay, please tell me there's some kind of sick turn coming. Oh, there's a sick turn, all right, because we have another theory. These giant carrots seem to be unique to Swellview. And what else is strange about the soil? This underground air is great for my skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that. You look great. I know. Yes, yes, underground air is a great moisturizer. We all know that. But what else can you find down there? Mole people! Bada bingo. Swellview's home to a strange race of mole people living underground. I hate mole oh, people. Down to the worst. Wait, mole people are real? Yes, and they are impossible to get rid of. But where did the mole people come from? 
What if mole people are born every 17 years? And that's why there are so few of them. What if mole people come from a strange root-based source that's only found in Swellview? What if mole people come from giant carrots? Say, this meat is simply top draw. Actually, would that mean that the Danger Force ate mole people meat? Your people make me sick. I'm seriously considering retiring. You should fire all of them. <laughs> okay, See that? seriously? That's right. Hopefully we're wrong on that one. But before we wrap up, there is one more question to ask. Is Chopper the king of Swellview? Is that a sword and a stone? Yeah, whoever can pull the sword from the stone is the true and rightful king of Swellview. Let's go. Now, if I were Chopper, I'd think that was easy. You put that back. So easy, it must have been a mistake. And when Ray told Chopper to put it back, uh, aggressively, you would have thought that Chapa had broken some priceless heirloom. Not that anyone's ever broken something important before. You right. broke my boot! Well, you broke your arm? Oh my god, it just broke! Moving on. Look how Ray comes back. Was Ray jealous of Chapa? Has Ray been secretly trying to pull the sword out of the stone for years? Decades, maybe? That would mean that the legend is true, and Chopper really did become King of Swellview. It all adds up. Don't all of history's most fantastical heroes come from mysterious pasts? I don't really have a family. And that voice on my cell phone, I left home, and since I still haven't found it, I, uh, I just never went back. Plus, she lives in Dinnyland, the most magical place in commuting distance to Swellview. You live in an amusement park? Yes, she was. I wait till it closes and I go under a fence and live in the spooky condo ride. And is it fun? Of course it is. Do I get to eat all the leftover churros and candy I want? Until my tummy hurts. Is it amazing to have an entire music park to myself every single night? I think that question answers itself. That's gotta be it. Chopper really is the king of Swellview. I don't believe any of that. Okay, okay, maybe Chopper's past isn't that mysterious. This is the tenth time you've pretended we don't exist. Your fourth birthday, your fifth birthday. Okay, we get it, you can count. And you can count on our love. Oh, Bring it in. Oh, no. Maybe she was just embarrassed by her parents. But aren't there still a lot of questions to ask? Like, uh, is there a cash prize for becoming king? I'm in the money. Who put Chest Monster in that chest? Why you gotta do Chest Monster like that? And why does Ray have all these clones? Uh, you know, just in case. Just in case what? To answer those and so many other mysterious questions, you'll have to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for another monstrous episode of Swellview Mysteries. And this is where the story starts to get weird.